Hey guys, what's happening? This is Forgo Nation, and today I thought we'd do a little Sabretooth gameplay before we get that update to see how he can do against Master Mold. And if you guys look at that screenshot, you can see in the beta testing is showing that he got one skill change on that third skill. He got a 10% increase of all attack from the uniform effect, and he's getting a 15% chain hit, chain hit damage when attacking which is amazing guys talk about buffing his skills but what's really interesting about this third skill even though it's only one skill change this thing is very significant because it actually stacks up to 75 percent all defense down that applies to world boss for 10 seconds this is amazing and it's got a 25 percent increase of all attack but and all speed buff and a crit rate buff by 25% for 7 seconds, guys. That's amazing. And it's on a 7.5 second cooldown, so you'll pretty well be able to keep this up the whole time. So you're only going to need 50% crit rate to max out his crit rate. And it shows here that he's got 100% chance for immunity to all damage for 4 seconds. Well, what's really interesting is, is, you see in the orange text there, it says tapping and holding the skill icon will charge the skill and releasing it will commence the attack. Well... If you hold this skill, now this is just in the beta guys, this is all subject to change when we get the actual uh, update, but as of right now, that his 4 second immunity, actually, when you charge this skill, actually goes into a 7 second immunity guys. So not only will it add survivability, it's adding a freaking ton of damage, giving him that ignored defense, or that all defense down, I'm sorry. That is insane. And if you take a look at Sabretooth here, and you take a look at his skills, he does have all defense down. And it's on his four-star passive here. And the way it works is when his health is below 99%, then he'll get that all defense down. So you do have to take a hair of damage for this all defense down to apply. Now what's really awesome, this is on one second cooldown, that's amazing. And a lot of times when you're using Sabretooth, you don't take damage sometimes because you have that four second immunity on that three and you don't take damage. Well, now you still can have that problem, but the thing is you'll always be able to get your all defense down no matter what with the new uniform that stacks up to 75%. But if you allow yourself to take a little damage while playing him in World Boss, he's gonna be able to use this 55% it all defense down from his passive with the all defense down from his third skill with that uniform that is bonk oh that is amazing i cannot wait to try this guy out when he gets that new uniform now and today we're going to be facing master mold so we're just going to see how well he can do without all defense down so let's take a look at the build he has 19,800 physical attack he has max attack speed, 32 crit rate, 157 critical damage, and about 46% ignore defense. This, these are not good stats, guys. He is level 70, but I really need to put a little bit more love into him. He's got max skill cooldown. Now, I do have 5-star physical attack Urus on him, but all of his gears are at 20. I need to at least get that first gear up to 25. And all of his skills are at 6, and it really is bonko the change that they're going to make to this third skill. Because, you know, here you see it's got that... Well, it still has that all attack for 25% and the crit rate growth by 25%. So that's not changing. But the all defense down is changing it. And the fact that this can go up to a 7 second immunity to all damage... I mean, that's spectacular, guys. That is freaking amazing. An all defense down stacks of 75%. Wow, that is just bonkers, man. Then he has a stage 6 Power of Angry Hulk set. He has a... Uh, and now this obelisk really isn't worth a crap, guys. I mean, it's got a nice damage proc, that 200% damage proc. But that poison damage isn't doing jack for him. The immunity stun can be useful, but honestly, I just threw it on him because why not? I mean, I mainly use him in Shadowland, although he is a good uh, world boss killer, especially for Proxima. And right now he has no uniform, but we know we're getting one. So, guys... Let's take old boy into GBR, and let's see how he does. Let's rock and roll. Okay, guys, so here we are. You see the team that I'll be running with. I got Wasp for that 23% all-attack leadership and her debuff, and you really want to have that with Sabretooth because he's got good survivability, and he's got a great heal, but he doesn't have real good defenses. He can get one-shot pretty easy. And we got Shuri for that 35% decreased damage received. 
or decreased damage received from supervillains and the 45% increase to supervillains. And you guys see the teams that I got rolling with here. We got two tier three Captain Americas. Oh man, we got Wasp on both teams and Coulson on both teams. So yeah, I don't know how long this fight's going to last. It probably won't last very long with those guys. But to be completely transparent with you guys, this is actually the third time that we tried this run. And we tried with Sabretooth, you know, just him doing all the damage. And he could do this, but the problem was... Whenever Master Mo goes into that phase where he's uh, kind of going in convulsions and he's getting ready to go into his heal, Sabretooth, that damage proc won't trigger. At least it wasn't for me the first couple times, the first couple runs we tried. And because that damage proc wouldn't trigger, Sabretooth could not do enough damage to break Master Mo of that and stop him from doing his heal. So Master Mo would heal a freaking crap ton. And yeah, I mean, Sabretooth just couldn't get it done. So that's why these guys are going to be helping out and doing some damage. Because it really is funky that the the damage proc won't engage. I mean, it's, it, I mean, it ha I've mentioned this before. It happens to me quite a bit whenever Master Mode's going that phase. And I'll point it out when we get to that point. But, you know, Sabretooth really is pretty easy. Now, we're going to have to see how that charge is going to play out. Uh, with the new uniform, like how long do we have to charge it for? I'm not really sure. I mean, I don't have them. I'm not playing with them. I just know that you, you can charge it and get the immunity up. Uh, I'm not sure if you're going to get the all attack buff like immediately. I imagine you will, but I don't really know. You, I don't know if you have to let it charge. So we're, we're going to have to wait and see. But I got to tell you guys, even though it's just one skill change, I think with the chain hit damage, the attack buff from the uniform, the stat bumps, uh... The all defense down, being able to apply just from hitting the third skill, I think this guy is going to be a freaking monster. I mean, he's already pretty damn strong. So, yeah, he's he's going to be pretty mean. And here, we don't even have any all defense down. It's not applying at all. I wish it did, but, well, it doesn't. And you got to see how fast we barrel through the first bit of master mold here and that's because of these captain americas I man captain america is just gonna freaking mold through this like it's nothing and those guys are just kind of backing off a little bit right now they're trying to let saber do as much damage as he can but like i said you know th these and by the way guys shout out to both these guys that are helping me out because they played with me the two previous runs and they went and they're still trying to help me out get this third one run done so big shout out to you guys thank you so much for helping me out and helping uh, get this video out for everybody. Thank you so much. It's really awesome. I mean, I, I love this community, guys. I love the Marvel Future Fight community. You guys are amazing. Uh, thank you so much. And thank you for the support as far as me not being able into being into the beta. You guys are freaking amazing. So thank you for that. And back to Sabretooth. I mean, he's got the damage, guys. Even without the all defense down, he can do this. He can do this. Remember, we got some low stat. And right here, this is what I'm talking about. That damage proc. Look at my damage proc. It will not engage. It will not engage the bastard. And that's what happened to me the two previous runs. And that's why. Because what would happen is Master Mole would heal freaking 10 bars, 15 bars, whatever. And Sabretooth just does enough damage that he can get it done. But with my build anyways. But because Master Mole would heal a crap ton, we would run out of time. In the two previous runs. So yeah, it, it kind of sucked. But it's all good. We're going to definitely get it done here. It's going to be a bit of a short run. It's not going to be as long as a normal guys. Because I wasn't going to ask these guys helping me to do this 20 million times. I thought they were pretty damn awesome for doing it three times with me. But he is easy as hell to play. I mean, you just hit the five, start with the five, then hit the one. And then it's three, two, four, five. And... We'll see how the rotation is with the uniform. I'm not really sure. And no surprise there. Our, our Captain America dominated. But Sabretooth did almost 30% of the damage in just a little over three minutes. So he's got the power. He can definitely solo this by himself. So guys, let me know what you think about uh, the upcoming uniform that we got for Sabretooth. And Sabretooth as he is. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.